Hey yo, what's good YouTube man? It's your boy Nori back with the banger for y'all today. And today I'm coming at y'all with the top five shooting badges in NBA 2K22 current gen. But before we hop into that, I gotta let you know that it's mandatory to sub the Nori man. Go drop a sub and like on this video for the vid even start. Alright, now if y'all want me to start recording these videos with gameplay. Let me know down below in the comment section. Today we don't got the gameplay, but if y'all want me to start recording these type of videos with gameplay, let me know in the comment section. You feel me? All right. Just say y'all want the gameplay, and then the next time I do a video like this, I got y'all. You feel me? I'm gonna just be edit. I'm gonna edit a little bit more. Throw them, throw the badges and stuff up on the screen type stuff. You feel me? But if y'all don't want that, still let me know in the comments. All right. Enough of me rambling. Let's go ahead and hop into this. All right. So when it comes to these badges. It is very important that y'all listen to me carefully. Now, I know I get gold badges, but for all my people that get it Hall of Fame, y'all want to make sure that y'all put these badges Hall of Fame, right? Not these. Let me go ahead and take all these off, you know what I'm saying, so y'all don't get misled, you feel me? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put them, we're going to set up the top five, and then after the top five, I'm going to rank them within the top five spots, you know what I'm saying? So... Off rip, we all know, you know what I'm saying, this badge right here is top five without a doubt, you know what I'm saying, sniper, this badge alone will make you hit white, make you green more, it, it simply is just the best badge, I can't lie bro, it'll be the separation between any player that makes every single shot to a player that misses wide open, if you can get this badge hall of fame, I guarantee you will not miss wide open ever, only way you miss is personal error because this badge alone allows anybody with a 75 plus three pointer to hit as consistent as possible. You know what I'm saying now my below 75s, you you gonna need a couple. You gonna need a couple more badges. You know what I'm saying to even make all your whites and all that. But this badge alone will make your your spot up hit all his whites. Play shots definitely hit all their whites. If you got a sharpshooter. I might need to make a video on that. I ain't gonna lie. I might need to make a sharpshooter get 99 overall three pointer and see what it's talking about. Cause ain't no way you missing on a sharpshooter. And you got this badge Hall of Fame. I'm telling you, whites every time going in. I promise if you got a 99 three pointer for show sure on a sharp, y'all might see a video like that coming soon. Just, just wait on it. You feel me? Now, for another badge that's in the top five, you feel me? I wanna go ahead and go with blinders you know what i'm saying now blinders like i said if you can get a hall of fame put it hall of fame this badge is better than dead eye i know plenty of guards that don't rock dead eye just because this badge alone is so godly you know what i'm saying all you have to do is get them on your side and then shoot you know what i'm saying because dead eye is for a late contest that's coming straight ahead blinders if you speed boost to the side and you shoot the ball they're already on the side so even if they jump they're jumping from the side so blinders kicks in and the badge is way too overpowered already for me. It's way too powerful in terms of like how it works. Like last year in 21 Next Gen, blinders, it worked, but you also needed Deadeye, you know what I'm saying? Because people could get uh, low key contest, you know what I'm saying? Even though you was making 100% contested shots in Next Gen, it was a little bit RNG, but this year, blinders is on a whole new level. But I'm telling you, I think it's only because the shooting is easier. If the shooting wasn't so easy, I don't think these badges would be so OP, but since the shooting is so easy that you can hit with no badges, badges like blinders are literally the top five easiest in the game. You know I'm saying like, even if you're a spot up, get blinders. You know what I'm saying because if you deck somebody, you catch it, and they're chasing you, boom, knock down. You feel me? So blinders is really for contest. I'm pretty sure y'all understand that by now. But if you if you debating on what badge to get between dead eye and blinders, go with blinders. I promise you. All you have to do is get them on your side and then you're gonna hit the shot. I don't care if I don't care if it's a 40% contested, it don't matter. If they're jumping from the side of you, it, it negates that contest by like like 50% or something. I don't know, but I don't got the, like I said, I'm not 2K labs, you feel me? I don't got the statistics, but I know what I'm talking about when it comes to these badges for sure. You feel me? Now, for another top five badge, you know what I'm saying, after blinders to make contested shots, you feel me? It's mismatch expert. I right? now mismatch expert. Everybody can't rock mismatch expert. You see me playing, you'll never see me rock this badge because I have a six seven. You feel me? Whole purpose is that you can shoot um, over taller defenders. You feel me? So 
it's like giant slayer but from the three-point line you feel me so it's really for all my play shots that's why all my play shots made a six one instead of a six two you know what i'm saying stuff like that even i've seen some five tens five nines five sevens type stuff just because they they got a 99 speed so they just running real fast off the speed boost left right and then pull up you know what i'm saying and then they guard corner on defense so they're at a disadvantage defensively but are they really if they're gonna sit there and guard the corner you know what i'm saying so mismatch expert allows you to just make I'm talking 80% contested shots, you know what I'm saying? You touch that stage, bro, that's all you're going to see, bro. They come off that screen, they don't even think, they don't even care if you jump. I promise you, they don't care if you jump. If you are if you go to that stage, I'm telling you, you have to, you, at this point, you have to double team, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody's going to fight for a three because these badges are too good. Like, honestly, when it comes to the contest system with blinders and mismatch expert on Hall of Fame and sniper on Hall of Fame, they're not going to miss, you feel me? So when it when it comes to mismatch expert you literally have to be there before he even thinks about shooting the ball or else they're going to shoot 40 percent plus and still green it all it takes is knowing your timing of your jump shot and it's over you feel me now these three badges alone y'all know what happens bro i told y'all about contested shots on contested shots on contested shots bro it's that's just how the game works you feel me now in this top five when I started to think of my top five, I was debating, should I put Chef, should I put Green Machine? But then I, I later realized that a lot of people don't even use Chef because shooting contested is so much easier in this game. So they really don't have to shoot off of the three-point line. They can shoot on the three-point line with these badges. And even if it gets contested, they still will hit, you feel me? So a lot of people don't even rock Chef in terms of my play shots and everybody. But for my ISO builds, Chef might be in our top five, you feel me? But I'm doing it in general, so that includes the play shots too that run screens and everything. So Chef won't be in it. We're gonna go ahead and go with Green Machine. All right. Now Green Machine is self-explanatory, bro. You need to shoot green after green after green. You know what I'm saying? Green machine is gonna give you that boost you need after consecutive greens. You know what I'm saying? So Green Machine is obviously a top five badge, you know what I'm saying? Uh it might be number five, but we going like I said, we're gonna put them in order at the end of the video. Little something like you feel me and like i said you see i can only get them gold because i got an iso build if you can get them hall of fame you want these badges hall of fame for sure well all my play shots want mismatch expert hall of fame if you are above if you're six five i i wouldn't i wouldn't put on mismatch expert just because locks are going to be six five so it doesn't work on the lock and then centers if you more than likely if you're six five you're not gonna be running a screen so a center's not gonna come contest your shot you feel me so in my eyes if you're six four and below mismatch extra makes sense or just if you're running screens in general i guess but six five and above mismatch extra is not gonna work that much for you for the simple fact that your defender is not gonna be taller than you majority of the time you know what i'm saying but especially my play shots throw that on no cap you make crazy i mean crazy shots when it comes to this bro all right, now you see we got blinders, you see we got green machine, mismatch expert, sniper, whatever, right? For this last badge, it was a toss up between two badges, all right? Hot zone hunter and stop and pop, all right? Now, me knowing how this game works, I like to I like to freestyle my badges sometimes. Like in the beginning of the game when I first matched out my shooting, I was just testing different combos and everything when it came to my shooting badges, and I ended up having on stop and pop without hot zone hunter and then i end up having on hot zone hunter without stop and pop and from what i noticed stop and pop gets that final spot you feel me like i said it's in no order yet i'm gonna go ahead and get you out of order after this but stop and pop is for all my quick stops uh peeking um uh what is what else what else what else all that you know what i'm saying stop and pop simple as that if you're running and you stop and you shoot the ball stop and pop you feel me this badge, I ain't gonna lie, bro. This badge is simply just, it's like, I don't know how to explain. I don't know how to explain how how useful it is to people because they're not gonna notice that they're using the badge, you feel me? Like you randomly just quick stop, don't even think about using the badge, stop and pop, you feel me? This badge is, I promise you, it boosts your jump shot so much when it comes to uh, shots after dribbling, you feel me? So stop and pop is in the top five. now couple honorable mentions you know what i'm saying of course catch and shoot chef and then hot zone hunter you know what i'm saying for the simple fact that hot zone hunter hot zone hunter would probably be six if we're being honest and then catch and shoot 
catch and shoot is not a hundred percent necessary in all cases you feel me like i said i'm speaking on the general and majority of the community is going to be a guard so a lot of these badges is for my guards if you do want to know best badge layouts for uh for players you know what i'm saying go ahead and click that video in the top right you see the eye right there that video right there I i'll let y'all know best badge layouts for locks spot ups iso players play shots all that you feel me so this is the top five in general you know what i'm saying like it's not for play shots not for locks or whatever you feel me you can make shots with sniper and green machine without catch and shoot but if you have one catch and shoot with no sniper you're not gonna make it if you have one catch and shoot with no green machine you're not gonna make it, you feel me so blinders even works for catch and shoot players too so in my opinion this is the top five right here and if we're gonna go ahead and rank them you know saying i want this video to be mad long so i'm gonna go ahead and rank them real fast you feel me so the first first and foremost i'm going with sniper you feel me sniper it's literally the like i said the bass is gonna make you make white so if you can't hit wide open then you can't shoot this bass is gonna make sure that you make every single shot that you shoot wide open i'm talking earlys and all bro i've seen it all bro now after sniper i probably have to go with blinders and the reason for blinders being over a mismatch expert is simply because blinders can be used by every single height on a player you know what i'm saying every player by any height you feel me so blinders number two that we're gonna probably go with is between these two the only reason why i don't put green machine is because i feel like green machine is a bonus like i said sniper's gonna help you make them whites if you can make consistent whites do you really need green machine you do need green machine trust me but i'm just saying though you feel me i probably go with stop and pop because it, it pertains to more players you feel me the more players it pertains to the better you feel me so i'm gonna go with stop and pop at number three mismatch number four green machine number five you feel me now that's cool the top five like i said leave below in the comment section do y'all want to see these videos with gameplay and i commentate over the gameplay not literally like oh look at me use this badge but i pop up the badge on screen and then y'all watch the gameplay while i just talk about the badge or do y'all like it like this where i just you know what I'm saying stay in the badge screen for a whole video y'all let me know in the comment section down below give me some feedback uh but that's gonna wrap it up for this video it's been your boy nori and uh i'm out